Do you realize that the, the first letter of the last six questions, when combined, spells out the words murder? No, I did not. Do you know why that is? No, I do not. Does it make you slightly uncomfortable? Oh, bitch. I'm going to start paying closer attention to what uh, you may have gotten yourself into. I can try, but it ain't gonna do shit. You realize it's too late to turn back now. Yep. How about you don't? Alright, it's kicking in with the same bit of music, I guess. Hello everyone, welcome back to Another Shenanigans, my name is Benji, and this is the test, Hypothesis Rising. Now as far as I can tell, this is the sequel to the test. Um, they have a, the developer, um, and it's literally Random Games. You can look it up on Steam, it's R-A-N-D-U-M-B. Um, they, I, this is the next one that came out that was the test. There's the test, the test Hypothesis Rising, and then the test final revelation or something. I'm just gonna go ahead with this and see what happens. Hope for the best. It's a little loud, but okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna wing it and see what happens. Uh it's highly recommended that you play it its prequel, the test, first before venturing into this experience. We just we just played that. You guys might have seen that last week, but I just played it like an hour ago. So, uh, you'll stand to gain a lot from the experience if you played the test first, and this examination will also make a bit more sense as it carries on from where the last examination left off. I'd like to urge you to go on and play the test now before venturing forward and follow the instructions listed throughout the game, as you will certainly get a bigger beneficial or benefit overall by taking the test in the order they were meant to be taken in. Would you like to close this game now so you can have the opportunity to play the test first? You will not get the chance to exit the game until the experience is over if you continue to Um, I already played the test. Wonderful news, we can continue. Again, blood, why? Hello, fate? I'm digging the mask and the blue eyes. I'll give you that much. Hello, and welcome to my office. It's truly really a pleasure to see you here today. Please excuse the mess. I haven't had a chance to clean up yet. I'm not too worried about, like, any of the mess. It's, it's specifically the blood. My mouse is being stupid right now. Uh, now, I don't want to take up too much of your time with, uh, with blubber blabber and non nonsensical speak, I'll get straight to the point. Sometimes we have to ask ourselves life's tough questions. One question in particular I'd like for you to ask yourself. Are you happy? When I say happy, I don't mean content. Being content is great, but it's not the same as being happy. I want to help you. I inspire you to be the best that you can be. To inspire you to be the happiest version of yourself. I want to see you grow inside and out. Now, how do we accomplish this, you might be asking. Good question. Allow me to explain. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I'm going to answer them with 100% entire honesty. Probably just like the first one. And when I say 100% entire honesty, I mean 100% entire honesty. Of course. Think about it. Do you want to be happy? You do want to be happy, don't you? You wouldn't want to do something so bold as to tempt fate and die lying, would you? Just remember, if you lie, the only person you're lying to is yourself. The person who will suffer from this is you. Believe me, you will suffer. Not to mention the fact that whether you tell the truth or not, I'll know. But that's another story. Let's be moving on, shall we? We've wasted enough time explaining what we're going to be doing. Remember, we're all meant to be good people. We all want to give the answers we feel lend the most desirable human traits within ourselves. Sometimes good people do bad things. Sometimes we don't always have desirable traits as humans. I cannot express enough just how important it is to be truly honest while you're answering these questions, no matter how uncomfortable the truth may make you. Now, it's time to get real meat of this experience. Time for you to get the advice that you deserve. 
As you read the questions and scenarios during the process, I want you to create your own circumstances and build your own bridges to arrive at the answer that best suits your own psyche. If you've never experienced a scenario being asked of you, then simply imagine that you have and try to assume how you might feel in that situation. I'd like to invite you to pour a glass of water, sit back, and relax. I still got my unopened Gatorade from the last time, alright? Let's keep it going. We're going to start with some basic, easy questions. I do see that my head is covering up a little bit of his hood, I guess. I did not realize that right here, that was going to be an issue. I'm going to say too bad, so sad, and we're just going to keep the ball rolling. If you answer the questions twice, your, your advice may change. Not just about answering the questions, about different variables. Many different factors are at play here. I'm going to turn that down on my head just because that's loud as shit. I'm also going to try and turn it down. Not that much. I'm a, yeah, I'm sorry if that was super loud at the beginning here. We're, we're going to keep this going, but that was loud. Uh, many different factors are at play here, including the amount of time taken to answer the process questions. Their proposed questions but that being said it's far more important to actually take your time and think about how honest of an answer you're giving before you give it whatever you do do not rush the process time is your best friend here you'll see what i mean soon enough and here we go do you feel uncomfortable right now right this second only a little but yes am i nervous no feel cold yes but i'm in a basement do i feel sad not particularly have you ever hurt someone because you were hurting even though they didn't deserve it probably do you crave acceptance by others maybe have i ever lost a loved one yes do you know what heartbreak feels like yes do i believe in demons from the previous game still yes Hmm. Do you believe in curses? Like swearing? Or what? I'm gonna say yes. Do you consider yourself to be spiritual? I consider myself to be spiritual, but not religious, if that makes sense. I'm more spiritual than religious. I don't know if that, I don't know if that makes sense in my brain. Are you afraid of dying alone? Yes. If there is an undeniable proof that a ghost was haunting you, would you continue to live in your home? Would the ghost not just follow me? And by haunting, do you mean like it just sometimes tips a book over or something? Or is it like trying to kill me? I'm a go with killing me. Uh, would I continue to live in my home? Probably not. Have you ever seen an object mysteriously move without being touched? Not personally, but I've seen plenty of like YouTube videos with it, so you believe that it's possible for a game to summon supernatural forces into your life without you knowing it? It says a game, not a video game particular, but a game, um, I'm thinking like Ouija, like a Ouija board, a Luigi board, yeah. Uh, you feel like making, would you like to make more friends? Not particular. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? We talked about this in the previous one, but no. Do I feel lonely? Not right this second. What'd you say? What was that? Do I make friends easily? Yes. Do you tend to avoid drama where possible? Yes. Have you ever had a near-death experience? Yes. I don't know if I want to get into that right now, but yes. Do I like horror movies? Yes. This is all very interesting. I know he said to take my time, but, like, I don't want this to be a three-hour thing, so we're going to keep... Have I played the test? Yes. That's the spirit. Have I played the horoscope? No. Give it a whack. I'm totally not biased or anything. Uh, do I watch porn? No, I do not currently watch porn. Would he consider myself to be a hard worker? These questions are just fucking yin yang right now. One, consider yourself to be a hard worker. Um, I would like to think so. Yes. 
Do I have a low opinion of myself? Maybe. Would you consider yourself to be a confident person? No. You help an old lady cross the street, even if you were running late for an appointment. Um, probably. Would you kill all of your neighbor's pets just to save one of your own? Yes. Have you ever tried to smother yourself with a pillow to see if you could actually suffocate yourself? Not a pillow! Have you ever caught, uh, have you ever been caught dancing when you thought no one was watching? Yes. Have you ever tried to roll your eyes back so far just to see if they really get stuck? Yes. Have you ever played a practical joke that you regret pulling on someone? No. Are you streaming live right now? I am not streaming live, but I am on OBS. So, I'm not streaming live. Are you recording this gameplay session right now? Yes! <laughs> if I told you I was watching you play this game right now, would you believe me? Sure. You've left a comment for me at any one point in time. I've read your words. Does this bother you? No. If you've left a comment for me, does it make you feel positive that I've paid attention to what you've taken the time to write? Yes. You understand that no matter what, I appreciate you. No, I don't believe that. I really do. I don't believe you, fate. Are you afraid of snakes? Um, in my area, as far as I'm aware, there's no poisonous ones, so no. But, like, I I don't know. I'm going to say no. Like, I'm, I'm going to go with no. Do you believe in magic? Yes. Have you cried in the last month? Probably. Do I have a hero? Yes. I, 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 I know I mentioned before that I, I had watched Markiplier play the test before I played the test. Um, and again, I know that he uploaded the test too, but I have not watched that video yet. I plan on watching it probably later today after I'm done recording these. But yeah, I, I say when I say hero... Um, Markiplier is definitely top five for that. Do I typically learn from your mistakes? Yes. Do I enjoy outdoor activities? Yes, but I fucking hate mosquitoes and flies. I absolutely... Do I consider myself to be lazy? Yep. Uh, do you sometimes find it difficult to stay motivated? Yes. Do you put needs of others before yourself? Yes. Would your family and friends describe you as kind? I would like to think so. Um, I don't think I'm overly kind, but I know that I try. I try to be kind. So I'm hoping. Yes. Uh, have I ever cheated in a relationship? No, but I have been cheated on. Have you ever been cheated on in a relationship? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be judgmental? Yes. I like to think that I'm not judgmental at first when I meet someone, but it's definitely after, like, they've wronged me a couple times, or if they've just rubbed me the wrong way, then, yeah, I, I do judge people. Are you a hero to someone else? I doubt it. Do I love animals? Yes, I have a dog and two cats. Have you ever found a family member on Tinder and wanted to hit them with the super, like, just to <laughs> make shit real awkward? I don't have Tinder. I've never had Tinder. But if I did, yes. <laughs> Girl, same. Do I enjoy drinking alcohol? Yes, I have a bottle of strawberry whiskey right next to me. I am I, I intoxicated right now. No, I had um, a screwdriver this morning. But no, I am not intoxicated. I had one drink. <laughs> that makes one of them. That's <laughs> Love that. Love it. Do I like the freeze sneaky snake? Uh, n no. No, not particular. Are these questions a bit strange to you? Not really compared to what I just... Like, I... At this point. Um, after having played the test and now doing this, that it's... You could throw a lot at me. Do I have a vivid imagination? I'd like to think so. Do you feel uncomfortable in large social settings? Yes. 
Would you consider yourself to be antisocial? Yes. Do you hold a grudge for long periods of time? I'm still holding grudges from when I was like 14. Alright, yes. Have you ever urinated in public? Yes. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? Fuck no. Would you consider yourself to be selfish? I would say yes because I like my alone time and I like doing things by myself. And I think because of that, I don't spend as much time with friends and family as I would like to. I'm trying to be better. But yes, I would say I'm probably selfish. Do you think you've got a big ego? No. Would you consider yourself kinky? <clears throat> Have you ever masturbated into a fishbowl? No. What the fuck was that? <laughs> well, you can't be that kinky. <laughs> No, what the fuck? Uh, would you consider yourself to be religious? No, not particularly. Would you self to consider yourself to be temperamental? I uh, sure. Would you, if you had to kill someone to save your own life, but you knew they didn't deserve it, would you do it? So this isn't like I'm being mugged and they got a knife and I like stab them with their knife. This is a like. I'm sure if it was like, because the situation that's come to my brain is like a car accident where it's like, I could swerve to get out of the way of another vehicle, but that would like run someone else over. I'm sure in the moment, my brain would just be like, I need to fucking move. Um, and in like that split second decision, I would say accidentally, yes, I probably would. But if I had time to think about it, pro no, I'm saying, I'm going to say no. Interesting. Would you sacrifice your own life for a complete stranger? No. And more interest. Have ever been inside of a burning building? No. Have you ever been to a funeral? Yes. A couple, sadly. You could attend your own funeral before you died. Would you take the opportunity to do so? Even if it was like spiritually after, after I died, yes. Uh, yes, I would could see into the future but you were told that it would only reveal the absolute worst of what's in store for you would you still look i mean yeah because then i know where the bar is set and it's like if this is the worst if these are the worst things that happen i know it can only be like the rest of it has to be better things so yes if you had the powers to stop time would you use it to do something you know you shouldn't do yep I think every everyone would. Everyone would find a way to use whatever superpower to do something they probably shouldn't. You had the power to remove one person from this earth and never to return again. Would I use it? Uh, yep. If I told you that I understand you better than you understand yourself, would you believe me? If you, if you are indeed fate, yes. If someone threatened to kill you, would you? your first response be to react in violence? No, because I don't want to be in a situation where I feel like I need to be violent. I'm not a fan of myself when I'm violent, if that makes sense. Um, I don't like being violent. And if it's a, like a coworker joking, like, I'm, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Like, then of course not, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no. If a stranger stole money from you to support their drug addiction, would you forgive them if they apologize to you? No. No, firstly, stranger. I don't give a fuck. I like individuals. I like individual people. Like if I, like if I see you, I talk to you, I get to know you, I like you. The general mass of people on social media and in the world being fucking idiots, I don't like people. So if you're a complete random stranger who stole money from me and like I catch up to you and you're like oh my god sorry i need i need the money i'm sorry i'm sorry i need the money like no fuck no 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 but my family member said something nasty about you behind your back would you confront them about it directly um i would say that i need to it i wouldn't want to do it directly but if it would happen several times then yes 
You had to eat raw squirrel brains for three days to stay alive. Would you do it? No. What the fuck am I doing that I need to eat raw squirrel brain? If woke up tomorrow none of your family remembered who you were, would you choose to leave and start a new life? No. I would at least want to stay in the area. Like, if, if they don't remember a goddamn thing about me, I would, I would still want to stay in the area and make sure that those that I cared about before they forgot me were at least still doing okay. I would try and keep in touch or keep an eye on them somehow. A homeless guy was clearly sick, freezing, and utterly miserable in the rain. Would you be willing to give him your clothes and walk home naked? Naked? No. But, like, I could give him a coat or something if I... Personally, if I didn't care about that coat that much. But, like, I'd be willing to help the guy out, like, but I'm not going to walk home naked. If someone accidentally hit you in their car, but you suffered no injuries whatsoever, would you still be upset with them? Um, probably not as bad. Like, they come up and bump me. It's like, I could have been injured. I Thankfully, I'm not, but, like, I could have been. So, what the fuck? If you look, uh, have you looked for any hidden men meanings or messages within these questions? Why have not? Maybe should have been. It's going to be the same thing as, like, the, the, the first game, isn't it? Are you wondering if there's a deeper meaning to all of this other than just simply answering question after question? Yeah, but that was the same way with the first game. Miracles happen every day. Do you agree? Yes. Umbrellas aren't worth lugging around and you don't mind getting rained on. Do I agree? I don't mind getting rained on in that, but I know other people do. So, like, I try and keep one of those collapsible umbrellas in my truck or in the car that I'm driving. Um, or if, like, I got a backpack, I'll carry that with me. But, like, I don't think it's worth it. But I know other people that care about their hair do more, uh, do. So, yes. Red is a prettier color than pink. Do I agree? Yes. Do you feel like a plastic bag? <laughs> do you ever feel like a plastic bag blowing through the wind? Yes. Eating in front of people can be awkward. Do I agree? Yes. Uh, rings used as a ceremonial wedding gift are so outdated. Do I agree? No, because my ring actually has a secondary meaning to it. Um, because the wood... I mean, yoink this off here. I don't know if you guys can see it all that well. Um, but there's a wood in between there. And it's actually, uh, tulip wood. Um, from the, the bush or tree or whatever. And it's the, um... It's the, um, because the, 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 the tulip wood from the bush tree. My brain just, like, shut off for a second there. Uh, the reason behind that is because when me and my wife, um, were first dating and I gave her a hug for the first time, um, she smelled like tulips. So that was, like, an ongoing thing. It was, like, she, she is my tulip. So when she got, because I bought the ring, wedding ring for her, but she brought this one for me. When she got it, she had tulip wood in it. Because of that. Now, it's like, a, I don't think they're outdated. No. Um, I think if you and your partner have a different idea for what to do, I still think there should be some type of exchange. But no, I do not think um, rings as a ceremonial wedding gift are outdated. No. Do you realize that the, the first letter of the last six questions, when combined, spells out the words murder? No, I did not. Do you know why that is? No, I do not. Does it make you slightly uncomfortable? Up it. You're going to start playing closer attention to what uh, you may have gotten yourself into. I can try, but it ain't gonna do shit. You realize it's too late to turn back now. Yep. How about you don't? Do you hear someone in your room? I see and hear my dog. Where's that? Uh, do you see the shadows closing in? Nope. Do you feel like you're being watched? A little bit. Did you look around your room a moment ago? Yep. Uh, do you like long walks on the beach? These questions go from yin to fucking yang. Uh, long walks on the beach, yes. Do I enjoy giving to people? Yes. Have you ever felt like giving up on life? Yes. Do you love your family more than you love yourself? Yes. I don't show it well, but yes. Do you have a best friend who's clearly better than the rest of your friends? 
No. No. Do you think there's some kind of conspiracy behind the coronavirus? This is relatively new, but okay. Yes. Uh, do you believe that you're human? I would like to think so. If you could turn invisible, uh, but you could never be visible ever again once you decide to use your power for the first time, would you ever use it? No, because for others around me, even if I could explain, like, hey, it's me, it's Ben, I'm not a ghost, I'm just, I'm here. I'm like, okay, if I'm invisible, are my clothes invisible? That would be my other question. Would my clothes be invisible? Or could I still put on clothes? I'm just invisible, I just have clothes on. I'm a s okay, but then also, why would I want to turn invisible? Why do I want to turn invisible in the first place? Oh no, I'm, I'm saying no. You knew someone was about to rob a convenience store, but you knew that they were going to do it to feed their family. Would you stop them? The I mm hmm. Rob a convenience store, but it okay. If it was, the situation that's going through my head is that I hear about, like, a friend's going to do this or has thought about doing this, but it's that they've been applying for jobs and they can't catch a break, and it's, just, it's been going on for months. They're at the, like, bottom of, the bottom of the barrel. They're not even scraping the bottom of the barrel. They're just scraping into the barrel, and they need the money badly. Firstly, I'm a little offended they didn't ask anyone for help or they're not asking me for help, but... Would I stop them? Probably not. Not in that scenario I just drawn up. You're stranded on a remote island with a stranger and you were both starving to death, but you found a secret stash of food that they didn't know about. Would I share with them? Yes, because I don't want to be the cause of someone else dying. You could turn into an eagle for one year, but you wouldn't be able to turn back into a person until that year had passed. Would I do it? No. If you had the opportunity to earn riches beyond your wildest dreams by fighting a grizzly bear to the death using nothing but a machete and an army helmet, would you do it? If I survive... Okay, are, are we talking like a regular, like I go find a grizzly bear and just do that? Because I think I would, like, try and aggravate it, but then play dead. And then once it's, like, about to leave, then just fucking thwack the machete into the bear's, like, head or something. But fuck it, sure. If you had to pick one basic food item to eat exclusively for an entire year, would you choose potatoes? <laughs> Damn it, yes! <laughs> if pizza screamed in agony every time you bit into a piece, would you continue to eat the pizza? No. If your best friend got bit in the genitals by a highly venomous snake, and the only way to save their self life was to suck the venom out of their genitals, would you do it to save them? Uh, sure. Fuck it, sure. Was that question difficult to answer? A bit, yeah! <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I'm trying to imagine, like, each of my friends are, like... I am comfortable enough in my own sexuality, like, it is nothing sexual, I am just doing this to, like, to, like, help you live. Fuck it, sure, yeah, but why the hell would that be a situation I'm in the first place? Is it difficult to answer? Yeah, it was a bit. Do I feel mortal? Yes. Do I enjoy loud music? Yes. Do you feel awkward when you dance in front of others? Yes. Do you suffer from an anxiety disorder? I think I have anxiety, um, but I don't know if I can self-diagnose myself. I'm going to say yes, because I do feel like I have a level of anxiety, and I have had what I would describe as, um, like, anxiety attacks or, like, just breakdowns. I would say yes, but I haven't been diagnosed. Do you ever feel depressed? Yes. You're not alone. I'm well aware of that. Do I feel relaxed? Not in the slightest. 
Do you think you have a guardian angel watching over you? Not particularly. Ever hear a name being called when no one could have called it? I explained this in the first one, but again, yes. Yes, I do. I do feel like I've heard my name being called. Let me just take a special note of that one. Uh, do you always look both ways before crossing a road? Even if it's a one-way street? Yes. Do you wash your hands every day? Yes, I actually have to for work. Even if I didn't want to at home, I, st I have to do it at work. So. Do you feel uncomfortable using public restrooms? Yes, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Is winter my favorite season? No, it is fall, actually. Do you know anyone named Josh? I know two people come to mind right away. One is a coworker um, that works in a different department than me. Another one was a buddy from college. Um, so if I'm missing any other Joshes, I'm, I'm sorry. You're wondering why that last question is relevant. A little bit. I'm not allergic to any animals. Not that I'm aware of. Have ever thought about an animal in a sexual way? You've seen Lola Bunny. Don't tell me you ain't seen Lola Bunny. We're, we're answering that one together. Uh, have I ever been in love? I am currently married, so yes. Uh, cons consider myself to be artistic. Um, again, I explained this in the first one. Um, not particularly, at least not lately. Um, I know in Minecraft I'm trying to make my world a bit prettier. And just look generally nicer especially with like the house and the base and that um but no in uh, middle school and high school and that i took a lot of art classes i took a bunch of art classes and i loved them very much um but that was also at this point six years ago so i would say for now not particularly i consider myself dominant in day-to-day -day life um not particularly um i'm an introvert i'm relatively reclusive i know i'm prone to uh anger and that so that may appear that i'm dominant but no I, I would say no i do not feel like i am i you feel like you've got too much time on your hands no never be easily intimidated can you be easily intimidated by others so not not really are you easily excitable? Yes. Do you enjoy solving complex problems? Yes. Do you have a difficult time relaxing? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be high maintenance? Not really. Do you trust easily? Fuck no. I don't trust nobody. Would you consider yourself to be an honest person? I would like to think so. Have I ever told a lie? Yes, I have. Have you ever lied to your best friend? Yes. Have you ever lied to your family? Yes. Have you lied to any answers during the session? Not to my knowledge. As far as I'm aware, I've been honest this whole time. Are you wondering why all of these questions have to do with lying? A little bit. This is all very useful information. Are you a people pleaser? Yes. What are my problems, actually? Do you enjoy being the center of attention? No. You feel like you've got a good sense of humor. Dark humor, but yes. I frighten easily. I'm gonna say no, but I swear to God if there's a jump scare. Of course. Why you gotta do that in my ear? Why? I'm staring at the camera, so I don't have to deal with this now. I, I didn't like that. I'm not enjoying that. Oh, that was odd. I wonder what that was about. Yeah, yeah, sure. It was in my fucking ear. Probably a good place for us to stop this simple segment of our... Uh, the simple segment of questionnaire. Move on to the more gritty questions? There's more gritty questions. The next set of questions will be a yes or no answers. Or will not be yes or no answers. Next portion of the segment will be filled with various scenarios that... Uh, that put you smack dab. I couldn't read that for a second. That put you smack dab in the middle of a vital choice making. Well, we'll see how well you handle your options as you delve deep into each scenario. Remember, the key to all of this is to answer honestly. Get started.
Home alone, it's dark, and it's storming outside. All of a sudden, there's a knock on your bedroom door. Someone's in your house. What do you do? Um... Grab the closest item, use as a weapon. Yeah, actually, I do have a bat next to my bed because of this. Very interesting voice. Meet a homeless woman on the street. She asks you for money. You find it within yourself to give her all the spare chains you have. As you do, a homeless man approaches asking if you can spare some. What do you do? Um... I said I just gave it all to the lady and I don't feel like I can tell the lady. If you could ask the lady to share with the man, sure. But like I I just I just I just gave it all to her. But yes, really now. I I apologize, but yes. Both your mother and your father fall incredibly ill to a life-threatening disease. And there's only enough medicine and facilities to save one of your parents and time is of the essence. What do you do? Uh, even though both may die, they have the medical treatment for- no. Um. Even though both may die. I feel this is not an option. Splitting them- I don't feel like splitting the medication would be there. The- yeah, just in case I get sick, no. Um, I feel like my father would do the selfless thing, and he would want me to give it to my mother- um, mom would of course want to give it to dad, but like, knowing my parents, I think my dad would want me to give it to my mom. That doesn't surprise me. Because even if I tried having the conversation with them, it's like, what to do about it, I think my dad would ultimately do that. Um, either, it would either be that or split them up, but I do think my dad would just want me to give it to mom. Find a case of money tucked away inside of a dumpster. Inside, there's ten solid gold bars and a vial of mysterious liquid. Under the vial, there's a note that says, The Cure for Cancer. What do you do? Um, Keep the gold bars, but give away the cure to cancer? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I would I, I would give away the cure to cancer, but uh, do I need it? I'm, I'm, I'm a bit selfish. I'm keeping the gold. What a wasted opportunity. Well, like, when I say I'd give it away, I mean, like, give it to doctors or what. And it's like, can you guys analyst and check this out? I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't judge. You're stuck alone inside your house, and you're staring or starving to death. You're completely run out of food, and no one is coming to save you for weeks. The only potential food source around you is your family pets. What do I do? Kill myself. Yep, kill myself. Fucking up. Yeah, no. Rascal and the cats can eat me. I'm not. Nope. Mm -mm. Your neighbor's home is on fire. A blazing inferno amongst smoke and emits from the windows. You hear screams for help coming from within, but you can't see past the flames. No one else is around in sight. What do I do? Um. Okay. I, I would like to say run it into the burning house. Because as much as I don't really know my neighbors, I don't... I've seen them. I've talked to some of them. Um, but I know there's, like, the families, and they have kids in there. So if that's, like, the house is on fire and they're screaming coming from within, I would like to say run it. Yeah, I'm going to run in to try and rescue anyone I can see or find. fast asleep in your bed when you're suddenly woken by what sounds like a woman's muffled cries from somewhere in your room. You quickly realize it's coming from under your bed. What do I do? Um. Jump out of bed and run out of the room immediately. That's probably the best. Yeah. You know, I'm good. I'm good. A man in a fancy suit approaches you while you're walking down the street. He pulls a watch from his pocket and hands it to you. He claims that the watch... When the watch stops ticking, it marks the moment that your time runs out on this earth. What do I do? I take the watch and thank him for the gift. Decline the offer for the watch and keep walking. Tell him that he needs professional help and to keep his distance. Tell him you already got three of them as a toy in your Happy Meal. Um, I'd say decline the offer for the watch because is that a thing of like... 
yeah, to kind of offer the watch. Yeah, no. I... Because is it like the clock stops ticking and then it's like that day or is it like that second? Because if... When it stops ticking, it's not going to matter if I'm going to just die immediately. You're sitting at home playing a game on your PC when all of a sudden... Someone grips and squeezes his shoulders firmly from... I'm checking the camera because I don't like this. Uh, what do I do? Immediately jump and turn around. Spin. Uh, no, no, I jump and turn around. Um, I'm to squeeze harder. You use a nice massage. Yeah, no, I'm good. Please don't, don't do that to me. You're sitting in a bathtub trying to relax when a hand emerges from the water. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> put the hand underwater. I hope he gets some free hand action. No. Uh, jump out of the bathtub and run as fast as I can. I've seen the fucking Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank, thanks, but no thanks. Uh, you get out of bed and immediately fall down into a deep, dark hole. A man is standing above you, looking down, telling you to put lotion on your skin while he watches. What do I do? Uh... You got very sensitive skin and allergies. Ask if they'll come down and help apply the lotion. Yeah! Some smart choice. I don't know if that was a smart choice. You're sitting at home alone and all of a sudden your door slams shut. See it before your eyes and you know that no one is home and it couldn't have been a gust of wind. What do you do? Um... If, like, the door just slams shut, I guess. I I would just probably, like, be in awe, like... So that just happened. Yeah, stay perfectly still. Why do you like that? Some you've known for many years, but have no attraction to, tells you that they've had a massive crush on you for a long time. I am married! Uh, tell them that you feel dating might ruin your relationship. Um, flattered but not interested. Again, I am married. How dare you? Yes! Yeah, I'm one of those types. I'm married! Your dog starts randomly barking at the co darkest corner in your living room. That doesn't appear to have anything there, but your dog starts an escalating to growls. What do you do? Um, see if anything moves. No, I, I don't want to fucking touch nothing. You see a massive uh, spider in your room the size of my hand. What do I do? Burn down the entire house. It's the only way to be safe. Uh, grab something bigger to smash it. Yeah, well, I don't, I want to say for science, but like I typically with spiders if it, or bugs, if it is an issue, I try and just get them outside. But uh, yeah, no, I'm good. Smash it. Your closest family member tells you that they're a serial killer. What do you do? Um. Because uh, a closest family member, I'd probably say my brother. Um. So TJ. <laughs> um. Well, I don't want to know. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I fucked up. I'm sorry. I was gonna. I was trying to hit the one to ask for details. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, if you found out the other one day left to live, uh, just act like nothing changed. Uh, yeah, no, act as if nothing changed. No, TJ, I'm, I am sorry. No, I would. I would want to know uh, how to help because what the fuck. And yes, I would not tell anyone. We had that discussion in the previous one. I wouldn't want to tell anybody. One of your pets started speaking to you and told you they've got a dire warning that they were going to die if you didn't tell them to eat all of the ice cream in the freezer. That we're going to... That they were going to die. Um... I mean, it's vanilla ice cream that I have in my freezer right now, so... Um, I it, I don't have that much ice cream on me either, so like, yeah. If all of a sudden you could start hearing others, people's thoughts, 
and the person next to you is thinking about mugging you and stealing your money, would you mug them first? Um, beat them up first. <laughs> Can't mug me if I mug you. Yeah, I'd just be like, hey, don't, don't fucking try that. Your best friend comes to you and tells you that they've just accidentally killed someone. They don't want to go to prison. What do you do? Um... No... I... I don't want to say they're on their own. But like, I would first be like, what the hell happened? Was it a car accident? Like, what? what's the issue? Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't want to abandon them or anything. You're driving in your car and you accidentally run someone over. You're pretty sure they're okay, but the fact that their head is clearly detached from their body suggests that it's probably just wishful thinking. What do I do? Uh, <laughs> yeah, call your best friend and tell him you don't want to go to prison. Um, I would say yeah, because it was an accident. And as much as I'd feel shit, like, yeah. How about you don't? Next portion of the test. Long questions should be asked. Uh, or would you rather stop a question? Man, you've got a gun to your head and you absolutely must choose. Are you telling me you have a gun to my head now because you said that you're watching me? No matter how uncomfortable that may be. Get started, shall we? Great, but my mouse is being stupid. Uh, would you rather be loved by all or feared by all? Uh, loved by all. Would you rather never get angry or never get jealous? I'd rather never get jealous because that would... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going with jealous. Uh, would you rather be held in high regard by your parents or by your friend? Um, yeah. Would you rather live in space or under the, s under the sea? At least I'm on Earth. Would you rather donate your body to science or do donate your organs to the people who need them? As of right now, I would say people who need them. But if I had some weird abnormality in the future... I might want to donate my body to science. Would you rather go to jail for five years for something you didn't do, or get away with something horrible you did, but always live in fear of being caught? Um, I don't want to go to jail for something I didn't do, but also... I also don't want to do something horrible. I'm going to say go to jail for time. Because I know my conscience is clear. And I would hope that my family and friends and what would also believe. Would you rather work at a horrible job that you hate but retire comfortably in 10 years from now? Or would you rather... 10 years at a job I hate? Dream job but work... Um, but yeah, I'd rather do my dream job forever. Because at least then I'm doing something I love. And, yeah, no. Would you rather every shirt you ever wear be something itchy or only be able to use one ply toilet paper? One ply toilet paper. Because of that, I'll just fucking wrap the shit out of my hand. Would you rather have skin that changes colors depending on your mood or tattoos appear in your body that depict what you did yesterday? Color changing skin. Would you rather shit every time you orgasm or orgasm every time you see a dog? Ah, uh, ah, uh, hey rascal! <laughs> I got my dog right. Orgasm when I see a dog. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, orgasm when I see a dog. I don't. Your partner switched bodies with one of your parents, and the only way to get them back was to have sex. What? No. Ha. Ho. Oh. Uh. Yeah. What? Like, what the fuck? No, seriously. What the fuck is wrong with you? Just answer the question. Um. Ah, what the fuck? I get, I guess, 
Mom, Dad, don't, 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 don't watch this. <laughs> uh, that one had no bearing on your results. Fuck you. <laughs> I think we've answered enough of these types of questions. I'm sure you would agree. We're going to end the test with a short series of final questions, giving simple answers. We'll get started now. Out of the following options, which numbers do you like the most? Uh, three, Dale Earnhardt Sr. Of the following options, which color resonates the best at this exact moment? Green. Out of the following options, which creature do you have, the, are you the least comfortable around? Uh, scorpions. Of the following options, which flavor is your favorite? Chocolate. Out of the following options, which the personality value you most? Or which do you personally value the most? Uh, fam, yeah, family. Of the following options, which could you most live without? Um, stuck between those two, I'm sorry. Uh, which statement is the most accurate? Um, I'm caring. I would say I am caring. Of the following options, which are you the most afraid of? Dying immediately after this test is finished. Um, li well, okay, now that you have living forever there out of these options, holy hell. I don't know because then I would lose, I would watch all my lose loved ones. Which I think that's actually the worst would be, yeah. Almost finished, just got one final question for you. Have you ever punched a nun? No. You're allowed to try it sometime. It can really take me off the edge. All right, we're done here. I'm through with you. Just going to calculate results very carefully. Don't want to miss anything important. Trying my absolute hardest not to judge you right now. I keep this as professional as possible. Aha, here we go. I just want you to tell me I've come to a conclusion. This is what I personally believe would be the best interest to acknowledge, set in motion, and accomplish in order to climb the ladder to happiness in your life. First and foremost, I'd like you to start with a blatant statement that everyone truly needs to hear. Something that is taken for granted far more than anything else in life. Something that has much incredible, unique, irreplaceable value compared to any other thing on this earth. And that, my friends, is the value of time. Time is the most valuable form of currency you will ever hold in life. You could spend time on anyone doing anything for any reason. Now time can be spent, time can be wasted, time can be taken away, but time can never be fronted, never earned back, more time can never be gained. Imagine a bank account with all the money you'll ever get in life. Now imagine not knowing how much money is in your account. Imagine going to the store one day to purchase something you really need and the cashier tells you sorry, but you can't afford that. As a matter of fact, you can never afford anything ever again. We only have so much time and we have no idea how much or how little we truly have before our bank account runs dry. The fact that we can decide and choose how we spend our time on just shows how truly special it is when someone spends their time on you. Now that we understand the incredible value of time, I'd like to make a suggestion for you personally on how I think you best spend your time in order to achieve what you need most as the current stage of your life. Let's see here. Oh, how? Sure had it rough until now. Been hurt a lot in the past and it's caused you to look at certain situations in an entirely different light than you otherwise would have if you hadn't gone through such trauma. The good news is we've now identified one of your biggest issues and can begin working on a solution to fix it. My advice to you is to remember that everything does in fact happen for a reason. Whether it's a spiritual way or a philosophical way, everything we go through in life, both good and bad, teaches us something new and prepares us for something else that's yet to come. Next time something bad or neg- <sighs> Sorry. Next time something bad or negative in general happens to you, I want you to take this time to mull it over for a while before reacting in a negative way. 
Even a broken clock tells the time correctly twice a day. When you take the time to think about the positives in every situation, when you think about everything you've endured and where you are today, then I want you to take the smile and be thankful that you're still here because I can assure you that many others are grateful for you being here too. Now take a little extra time to pick out the positive things and negative situations and think about what the lesson is trying to teach you rather than it's currently doing to you. And you'll never you'll be walking down an incredible path to an incredible future. I think you'll be very surprised just how much of a positive impact this can have on your life going forward. I hope this information helps you achieve your goal. The word is grateful. Remember this word. It will come in handy. Okay, so I have Angel from the first one and Grateful now. The secret word is assigned to you at the end of the session. Leave it in a comment for us. We'll be selecting one based on your answers included in the future project we're working on. You left your secret word for us in the test or the horoscope. We read your feedback and it's helped us construct this project as well as a third installment of the test that we're currently developing. Be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be a part of history. This is a chance for you to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comment. If you do not wish to be part of the upcoming project, simply leave your secret word in our comments, out of your comments, and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave. I will always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know we've been some help for you, and they weren't yet. Um, all makes sense very soon. Trust me on that. One more thing. Greatly appreciate your feedback and the support. Every single, we read every single review and comment left for us. We love the conspiracy theories left behind the greater meaning of all of it. And the third style installment of the series, all will finally be revealed. Not a single person been able to figure out what the entire experiment is all about yet. Look forward to reading your thoughts and feelings that it helps shape what we need to work on in the future projects to bring the most emotion out of you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for everything you do. Thank you for playing. Thank you for contributing your secret words to our project. Wish to support us further? We would love it if you check out the other titles in the our other game section of the title screen. Good game. So, I, yeah, grateful and angel is this supposed to spell out like a, a sentence here is yeah there's the test uh there's that now the final revelation and then the testing chamber i don't know if that's a part of this or not and i i did see the confession so we'll see how that, yeah there it is random studios that random studios right there right there go look at that do that do the thing and a list of names of who supported our projects along the way. Uh, continue to extend this list in future titles. Would you like to see them now? The list is quite long. Um, I'm going to say sure. Yes. Markiplier! Yeah! <laughs> right at the top. Okay. I should say that I did leave a comment on the other one, however, I doubt, because, unless they changed it between the hour, because there was an update for this, but I doubt it, um, I doubt we'll see it, but, I'll leave a comment for this one as well. Vicious. <laughs> I might speed this part up. Uh, in the editing, but I will I will wait here, see how they all go. Arson arsonist? I'm sorry, arsonist.
Jesus Christ. Who the hell fucking put shit in my coffee? Goddamn. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Ugh. So I apologize. I did. I probably sped that up, but. Thank you all for watching. Jesus. Ugh. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we now have Grateful and Angel. Um. If you guys are wanting to play this, I'm pro I'll probably put links down below to it, but have fun, and hopefully your name gets added to the list as well, so. Oh, God. That hurt. That actually hurt. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. We will see you in the next one. We will see you in the next one, whenever the heck that is. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs>